Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Nancy Stanley, physical therapist, life and health coach, and I am excited to be here tonight. I'm talking about a subject that is very dear to my heart. My mother died with Alzheimer's at, I think she was 86. Let's see, no, she was 87. Let's see, she died in 1980, yeah, so she was 86. Right here on a bed, hey Martha. Good to see you. Thank you for joining me on a bed right here in my living room. And she weighed 67 pounds. And, you know, my mother was generally healthy. She never took any medicine, really, except maybe, I think, some thyroid. I think she did have some vertigo. Uh, but, you know, never had any heart issues or never was really overweight. Uh, she did smoke earlier in her life. But watching her... Um, die over eight years, really. I mean, I went, I found in one of my journals, eight years before she died, that she was beginning to forget when I would tell her where I was going for the day. She would say, come by and have coffee. I'm like, remember, I'm in Atlanta at a meeting or whatever. But anyway, it's an awful thing. So, you know, it, you can prevent it. I mean, there are definitely indicators uh, for Alzheimer's. There's that APOE um, issue. There's definitely, and I'm going to talk more about that as we go along in this next challenge coming up. Um, yeah, or just, I'm going to be sending out emails because I want you to know the information. But uh, what I want to say right off the bat is if you have a family member that is beginning to have the big, that is having the beginning signs of Alzheimer's, don't just accept it. There are definitely things to do. And I'm going to give you some things to start with that are just very basic. I'm not talking about medication. What I'm really talking about as far as testing to see, you know, what may be the problem. It may be mercury. It may be mold. It may be uh, toxins in the body. It may be inflammatory disease. It may be insulin resistance. It may be the genetic factors. There, you know, there are things that you can check to know, but I'm going to start. But anyway, I want to ask you a question. How you like my makeup tonight? I got some new makeup in the mail. I'm just like you. I scroll through Facebook and I look at those older women, you know, I'm 65 now and they're putting on this makeup and, and I'm just like, whoa, that's amazing. And so I got this, it's TLM foundation color changing. And the cool thing about this, I'm not selling this makeup. I'm just want you to know that, but I just thought it was kind of fun just for fun. It's white. When you put it on, it's white, and then I use a little sponge and do it around, and then it turns the color of your skin. So I just thought it, I just thought it was amazing. Hey, Beverly. Hey, Billie Jean. Uh, thank y'all for joining me. All right, so if you missed the first part of this, I'm just going to recap. Stay for the end now because I'm doing some drawings for some product that I am selling. I've never sold a product before, but I'm selling this because I believe in it. Hey, Lydia, thank you for joining me. All right, so this is gonna help you, but the first thing I wanna say, I'm gonna say it again, is if you are having the beginning stages of Alzheimer's, and I'm gonna talk about what that is and what it's not, okay? There's a book by Lisa, I always get her name mixed up. It's called Remembering. I got it right over here. Anyway, there's two Lisas. There's Lisa Moscone and Lisa. Anyway, the name is Remembering, and she's written a lot of books. She does a lot of speaking on Alzheimer's. Uh, she's a, uh, uh, I think she's a neuropsychiatrist. Yes, I believe she is. But anyway, um, you know, so she teaches on this. So I'm going to share with you what it's not and what it is. But if you have a family member or even yourself that's having the beginning symptoms or stages, there is something you can do. And I'm gonna share the basics with you tonight. All right, so so we're, we're talking about how to prevent Alzheimer's. And what we know is, let me get this where you can see it. Yeah, there we go, okay. What we know is that Alzheimer's is, what happens is there's these amyloid plaques and these tail tangles that show up in the brain. Now, the interesting thing is those amyloid plaques are really there as a prevention. 
okay? So they wrap around the synapses in your brain, and, and some of them, we found, they, they found that they actually absorb the toxins that are damaging to your brain. So there's a positive thing about it, but as they, as you get more and more and more, then it becomes, it takes your memory, all right? So that's the problem, okay? So, um, the, so there are all kinds of tests that you can do to determine what maybe is causing the Alzheimer's. So that's why I'm saying, don't just, um, just accept the fact, well, I've got Alzheimer's, there's nothing to do. Uh, what I will say is up until now, the, the medications that they have have not proven to be effective. Now, my mother took some and it did, I, I noticed a change in her, but it didn't last, all right? So they don't, they don't stop the disease. They may prevent the, some of the progression. But anyway, all right, so there, there are five types of Alzheimer's. I don't think people really realize that. So the first one, the type one is the inflammatory. And, um, you know, people that suffer from uh, inflammatory diseases uh, are, are at greater risk for having this kind of, uh, uh, and you can test for these, okay? Number two is the cold atrophic type. All right, so what happens here is there is a decrease in some of the necessary substances in your body that cause you to be healthy. And I'm gonna talk about one tonight when I talk about this little stuff right here in this bottle. Um, all right, number, well, and then there's 1.5, I kinda added that. Hey, Kathy, hey, Barbara. There's 1.5, which is the glycotoxic. And what this is, is a change in your systemic insulin, all right? So that's why it's so important that we keep our insulin levels down. And I'm gonna talk about that with the prevention, but insulin resistance is one of the precursors to, uh, to this, this type of Alzheimer's, all right? So, um, and then number three is, uh, well, I didn't put the name of it, but in, anyway, that one, <laughs> I don't know why I didn't do that. I've got my notes here somewhere. Okay, so that one is that when it, when it shows up in the 40s and 50s, this is the early this is the early response to toxins. All right, and then number four is vascular. So there's a lack of circulation in, into the brain. All right, and then number five is traumatic. So if you've had a head injury, that increases your risk of having Alzheimer's. So those are all things that you need to know. Don't get, I'm not, I'm not trying to say that you do have Alzheimer's. I'm just saying that it increases your risk. Just like smoking increases your risk for lung cancer and, um, you know, chronic constipation and leaky gut increases your risk for stomach issues, okay? So uh, just saying that there are things that increase your risk. All right, so let's talk about what are the things that you can do and these are, these are, I, I think they're easy because it's a lifestyle for me, but here we go. So number one is your sleep, all right? So you really need to work on your sleep. So for me, it's getting in bed by 9.30, all right? Not sitting here till 10 and 10.30 and, and staying up later because I'm gonna only sleep so many hours. But if I go to bed at 9.30, then I will sleep. I will get my eight hours or even nine hours. So now they're showing that more, the more sleep, the better, because that is when your body repairs itself. Think about that. You're rested. It's God's way. It's what he created us to do. And so you're rested. And so you're going to be able to get rid of the free radicals. Your human growth hormone is going to kick, kick in. So Put in the comments below if you get eight hours of sleep. Let me just hear from you. If you get eight hours of sleep, put yes in the comments. If you get less, put how many hours you get. If you get more, put how many hours you get. But we're gonna see how many of us are really getting the sleep that we need and making that a priority. Yes, Ariel, sleep is so important. Uh, Martha, you don't, get, you don't get enough sleep. You get eight hours. Way to go, Dolores. You are helping yourself. Martha, about six. Well, I'm going to encourage you to get more sleep. Hey, Heather, more sleep. You need more sleep. Billie Jean, more sleep. Why are you not getting sleep? I just, I kind of want to know. Uh, one of the reasons may be that you're on your cell phone before you go to bed. I would encourage you 
30 to 45 minutes before you go to bed, don't, don't be on your phone. That dopamine reaction that you get from scrolling through Facebook is not a good thing, all right? So I don't want to burst your bubble about it, but I just want to encourage you to get more sleep. Go to bed. If you take your shower at night, go to bed earlier. Go get the shower earlier and get in the bed earlier. That's what I have to do. Uh, hey, Barbara, you get about nine hours sleep. Way to go. You're helping yourself. Okay. Helping yourself. Okay. So the other thing that happens when you sleep longer is it brings your blood glucose levels down because, because your insulin has a chance to level out. All right. Now this is provided that you don't eat anything before you go to bed within that three hour window. Don't eat in that two to three hour window. Okay. All right, so the second thing to do is to get in ketosis. And you don't have to get into a deep, deep ketosis, but you, but getting in ketosis is one of the ways that you're gonna prevent Alzheimer's, okay? All right, getting up, going to the bathroom. Okay, so let me just, I'm gonna divert just a little bit because um, you have to train your bladder to sleep all night, all right? And uh, just like a baby, you know, a baby's gonna wake up and if you go in there and see about them, then they're gonna keep waking up because they think if I cry, mama's gonna come in here. Same thing with your bladder. Don't drink within the two hour window before you go to bed. And the first night it's gonna be hard, but you lay there and, and when, you, when you wake up, you, your first thought is I gotta go to the bathroom, okay? But don't get up and go to the bathroom, lay there. Now the first night it may be a little hard, you may have to get up and go, but after two or three nights of, of practicing that, you will notice that you sleep all night. And how do I know that's true? I trained myself, I don't get up and go to the bathroom. And I used to get up three or four times and go to the bathroom. Well, at least two, not three or four, at least two. Um, the other thing is, um, like I said, don't, don't drink before you go to bed with that two hour window or eat, all right? And you, it's a matter of, your bladder is a muscle, all right? So it stretches based on what's in it. And if it stretches, then you're gonna feel the urge that you need to go to the bathroom. But if you don't get up through the night, after a couple of nights, you train yourself. And the other reason I know that is I've had so many of my clients say, um, I, I train myself to quit going to the bathroom and you'll sleep better and you'll wake up feeling more rested. All right, okay, so number, Three, well, number two is is get into ketosis, and the best the best way to get into ketosis is to begin to put good fats in your body and eliminate the sugars. If you'll get your complex carbs down to less than twenty in in at least two weeks, but you'll be moving toward ketosis. And for some people that are insulin resistant, you may have to add that coconut. Uh, you, you may have to add MCT oil, which is exogenous ketones, to your coffee or whatever, but the longer you can fast, the sooner you're gonna be in ketosis and your body's gonna switch over into fat burning mode, all right? Okay, all right, so, all right, so 12 to, 12 to three is a good, you know, if you could fast 12 hours, so from seven o'clock at night till seven in the morning, that would be a good start and then maybe move it to nine or ten but you're not going to be able to do that if you're eating sugar or carbs during the day so you're going to have to cut back on your carbs but that's what you're going to learn in my program i teach that the first two weeks we get you in ketosis we start you burning fat we get your energy levels up and we start feeding your brain those ketones that it loves so much okay all right number three now this is not, tonight is not a lesson on ketosis, all right? I just want you to know that that's one of the things you can do to prevent Alzheimer's. And all the neuroscientists are saying it now that your brain really was created to burn ketones, all right? And so if you're eating sugar all day, that's why we have brain fog, that's why, that's a, that's a precursor. So just know that getting ketosis is gonna really help you. And by the way, I feel so good when I'm in ketosis. I've been to Savannah and back today with my husband and, and I just feel great. All right, so number three is decrease your toxins. All right, so what are your toxins gonna be? They're gonna be your vegetable oils, your canola oils, your soy oil. They're gonna be your um, sugars, your high fructose corn syrup, 
they're going to be your mercury. So if you've got a lot of amalgam in your mouth, you want to, and, and you're, you're maybe having some pre prior symptoms, some early symptoms of ketosis, you may want to go talk to your dentist about replacing those, that, those mercury amalgams with, um, with porcelain or whatever it is they use now. Uh, your toxic air, you may want to consider getting a air purifier, okay? And then mold. If you've got mold, if you've got a leak in your house or mold in your house, you really need to work on getting that. Way to go, Mar Martha. You fasted 19 hours. Yeah, it's, it's, a great, it's a great way to purify your body. Okay, so uh, that's just the beginning of the toxins. Yeah, uh, but you want to concentrate on getting the toxins out of your life. We have an air purifier in our bedroom. We have one out here in the great room. Um, you know, even like spraying certain sprays, there's like deodorants and things that you would spray that would go into your body that are really not good for you. They have aluminum, different things in them. So you want to eliminate those. All right. Okay. Number four is exercise. You really do need to be exercising. And what happens when you exercise is you actually stimulate your brain. All right. And so even if it's just a quick sprint for 50 yards there and back or, or a one or two mile walk, but get your heart rate up, get your blood flowing. You really need to do that. Studies have shown, even small studies have shown people that uh, come in with pre-existing, I keep saying pre-existing, with preliminary Alzheimer's symptoms if they put them on an exercise program. I'm not talking about an hour workout at the gym. I'm just talking about some brisk exercise to get your heart rate up and keep it up for 20 to 30 minutes. That it's it showed that their symptoms diminished, all right? So, uh, you're very important here. Okay, so number five is good foods. You really got to be eating good foods. You just can't be eating sandwiches and hamburgers and french fries and all those things and expect your body and your brain to perform. You got to fuel it with good food, okay? So, I'm going to divert just a little bit and talk about leaky gut, and I'll be talking about that probably not tomorrow night, but the next night. Um, okay, so, but what leaky gut is, is where the wall of your gut is, is porous and actually toxins, food, particles, bacteria, goes through your gut and gets into your bloodstream. And it can cause a lot of problems. And so, uh, if you can heal that with proper nutrition, getting rid of your grains and your toxins, and heal your gut, it takes about 20, about 30 days. But there are other things you need to do, and I can't, that's a whole lesson for another day, but I want you to know that uh, eating good food is gonna help eliminate the, all of those, um, uh, all, of, all of those things. Okay, all right, so number six, it, okay, I said there were five things, but I can't stop at that because I just listened to a one hour uh, talk on my way home, the guy that wrote, uh, you can or prevent Alzheimer's. I listened to him talk again, and he's like, there are multiple ways to prevent Alzheimer's. There are many, there are dozens of ways. These are just the simple ones, and, and as I was writing this, I'm like, well, I just got to say this, and I, I can't stop with that. So number six is going to be hormones, especially for women, but men too. Uh, men keep their testosterone typically until they die, but women usually start losing their estrogen after, of course, after menopause. And especially if they've had a hysterectomy, estrogen goes away. So you really need to talk to your doctor about your hormones and having those checked and make sure that you've got some good levels because your brain loves estrogen, okay? And if you've had a hysterectomy and you're not on any hormones, you really need to look into that, okay? And then number seven, and I'm gonna start with this, is you really need to be on some nutraceuticals. And why? Because the foods that we get, what we eat, the stresses that we have deplete our body, even the salt that we use, the iodized salt, get you some real salt. It's a brand name, it's called R-E-A-L. It has some good trace minerals in it and your body needs those things, your brain needs those things. You've got to fuel your body properly for it to perform. Okay, and then I added this number eight down here because I'm doing more and more research on this is uh, essential oils. There's definitely some benefit to essential oils to help uh, fuel your brain, okay? All right, so um, I have a draw, I have a, um, 
uh, I have, I'm going to do a drawing now for these two products. So let me show you, let me show you what they are. Now, tomorrow night, I'm going to talk more about this. Uh, but what this is, is called, um, NutraSwish. And I've been doing this now. I've been using a product like this, the precursor to this product for about 13 years. And I attribute my, how I feel, how rested I feel when I wake up, the fact that I never feel like I need a nap. Well, I won't say never. I did on Thanksgiving afternoon after eating some turkey and dressing, things I don't normally eat. But this is a product. Let me see if I can turn it around where you can see it. Okay, so it's just come out on the market in July, and I started taking it, and I'm, I am noticing a difference in my energy levels than before I took it. Now, I was taking another product, but that product is, uh, is it does not compare to this product, all right? What this is, is nanotechnology. And if you haven't heard about nanotechnology, basically it's where the, 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 the product is broken down so that it can literally enter the cell. And that is, uh, has always been the problem with taking nutraceuticals is the absorption, okay? And so you, if, if you take products by mouth and it goes into your gut, depending on your gut, if you're actually gonna be able to absorb them. And some are fat soluble, some are not fat soluble. But if you don't take those fat soluble ones like vitamin D with the meal or with fat, it's just not gonna absorb. The, the, the nanotechnology of this is amazing in that you put it in your mouth and you swish it and it, was, and it is absorbed in the glands in your mouth, in, in your lower jaw, all right? So you want to know about this product. I, like I said, I've never sold a product before because, you know, there were so many other people you know, having all kinds of products. You know, there, there are tons of people selling essential oils. There are tons of people selling different kinds of vitamin D, but I don't know anybody else selling this uh, or that has this product available. And there, there are people, definitely people selling it, but nobody that I know has this, this particular product. So you want to get this product. So I'm, I'm doing a drawing tonight and I went ahead and drew before I did this just so I wouldn't take up time with that, but here we go. So Gloria Hardison won this bottle of Swish, and this is a $65 value. Now you can get it for $50 a month if you're on auto ship, but I'm gonna tell you, if there was one thing that I would carry with me on a trip, it would be this. It would be this Nutri-Swish. Okay, now the other thing, and I'm gonna go ahead and draw this one. Who is this? All right, this is Cynthia Crawford Griffin one, the Numi Skin. Now, what is this? This is a skin product. I've been using that as well for 90 days, and I wish I could show you, but I, well, maybe I can. All right, I had a uh, biopsy done on a, it turned out to be squamous cell right here, and it was a hole. I mean, it was about as big as the pupil, or not the pupil, but the green part of my eye and about, about the size of the end of this, all right, so about the size of the end of my thumb, and it was deep, and I started spraying it, and um, I mean, within three weeks, the thing was gone, and I do not even have a trace of it, and normally, I have, you know, when I have those things removed, I was a sun worshiper, you know, which wasn't a wise thing to do, all right, but um, anyway, this is Numi Skin, and it is also nano, technology so it's the same product glutathione but you're spraying it on your skin and um it actually absorbs and i mean i'd notice tightening in my neck and in my face and and i i mean and the good thing is you just spray it on i haven't used a moisturizer in 90 days i do i do scrub my face you know actually just i've got a little pad that i use to scrub my face it's kind of like a derm abrasion thing but i've I've not been using any moisturizer. I just spray this on, you know, three times a day, two times a day, five times a day. Depends on, you know, how many times you go in your bathroom. Um, but um, I love it. All right, so two winners that won, won these products. If you are interested tonight at midnight, the sale goes away, but you can buy one and get one free. So I'll put the link in the comments, but you don't have long 
I think it's tonight. I don't, you don't have long to take advantage of that. It's an amazing sale. In other words, it's like getting a free bottle. So basically, it's $50 that you're saving. So I love that. All right, so, okay, so go back and listen to the beginning of this if you missed it, because I talked a lot about, you know, how to prevent Alzheimer's. Okay, so tomorrow night, I'm going to talk about glutathione, and I'm going to explain to you why, you know, the fact that glutathione, at, after you hit 30, it begins to deplete. It's diminished in your cells, and that's why we age, but if you could boost your glutathione levels, which we do that through, you know, taking nutraceuticals, uh, you know, just cell production, just doing good things for our cells. We can do, we can boost our immune system, but this, this product that I'm talking about is the, is to me, what I've done, the research I've done is the best way to, to boost your glutathione, which, the, you know, you've got glutathione in every cell in your body, 60 trillion cells, I think it is. So you've got to, you got to think about if that starts depleting, that's why we age. That's why we feel tired. That's why we feel like we need to have a nap. That's why our skin begins to, to droop or drop or whatever it is. Okay. All right. So let me just make sure that I covered everything. All right. So tomorrow I will be sending out a video about the product and about glutathione by a, um, uh, a person that knows a lot and actually will be introducing you to more of the, of the uh, qualities of glutathione, okay, that you need to know, all right? And then uh, I'll also be doing a drawing, so if you share this video, you'll get in the drawing tomorrow night. I'm gonna give away two more products, all right? But if you want to get your product tonight and, and get it at half price or buy one, get one free, then you need to click on this link that I'm going to add at the bottom, okay? All right, so uh, I think that's all for tonight. If you have any questions, hit the love button before you leave, please, or hit that little arrow that shares this because there are some people out there that this will be life-changing for them. Thank you for joining me, and y'all... Have a good night. So I need to get the, your address, Cynthia Griffin. I need to get your address so I can mail you this product. And I need to get your address, Gloria, which I think I already have your address because I mailed you a cookbook. Oh, and while I'm talking about that, I appreciate y'all hitting the love button. Thank you. Um, yep. Okay, so yeah, all right, so here's my cookbook, and uh, if you want one of these, in fact, I think I'll draw for a cookbook tonight. I didn't do that, so let me see. All right, here we go. Oh, Renee Dukes. Well, I think Renee got one last night, so let me get somebody else. Do not Okay, here we go. Bonnie Sears. Bonnie, I don't know if you've got one. <laughs> uh, if you've gotten a cookbook already, if not, I'll mail you one, okay? All right, thanks for joining me. And if you want a cookbook and you had not won one, you can buy one. They're $15. I'll mail it to you. But what this cookbook is, it's about 50. Well, it's 50 pages, so I'm going to say it's probably 50 recipes. But it's from people that have been in my challenge. They're all keto dishes, all right? And it's people that have been in my challenges that, that sent recipes to me that they had tried and that they loved, that their family loved. And I had a, a friend that typed them up. And then one day I said, you know, I want to I send this to um, the printer and get it printed up because we actually had a Google document that we shared. But that was kind of difficult. So here it is, $15. Sam, if you want one, you can Venmo me the money. You can put a check in the mail. Um, and um, I'll post my address maybe below or maybe I'll just message me if you want one. And I'll, I'll send you one in the mail and you can Venmo me or mail me a check. Okay. Hey, Barbara Barnett. I hadn't seen you in a while. Good to see you. Hey, BJ. I see you want a cookbook. We'll get you. I'll get you a cookbook. Um, there's Ariel. Yep. Congratulations, Bonnie. Hey, Ann. 
How are you doing? There's Lynn. She's watching. Great info. Thank you so much. Hey, Rhonda. Thanks for joining. Hey, Marla. Your house is beautiful, by the way. Okay, your skin looks amazing. Thank you. Yeah, I like this new makeup. I mean, I put that on at 1 o'clock today and went to Savannah and back. And, I mean, it seems like it's staying in, staying in place good. Hey, Debbie. Good to see you. Congratulations on your health journey. Um, hey, Pam. I imagine that's Pam. Hey, Barbara. Good to see you. Congratulations on your weight loss. I'm so proud of you. Uh, yes, you got to get the toxins out of the brain. You're right, uh, Rhonda. Okay. Uh, thank you, Elizabeth. Good information. Yes, we all, you know, it's what we don't know that hurts us. Really, it's what we don't know. We thought that granola bars and cereal, I did peanut butter, whole wheat bread. I thought all that was healthy. But I realize now because of how I feel and um, just how my body is performing that that wasn't healthy. You know, it's kind of like I wouldn't put dollar gas in my car because it wouldn't perform. And I want my body to perform. It's what carries me around. So um, let's all get healthy together. Hey, Sonia, good to see you. Okay, hey, Kendra, I don't think I've seen you on here before. Thanks for joining me. Uh, let's see who else we got. Uh, okay, so we were talking about the room. All right, we sleep with our, um, our room is about 64 degrees. So, yes, it is better to have a cool room to sleep. Um, now, I can't be too cold or I can't go to sleep, but, yep, great. Hey, Linda, good to see you, too. Uh, yes, up at night going to the bathroom. Well, I told you how to fix that, all right? Uh, so, good for y'all that are getting your eight-hour sleep. Okay. That's it. All right, we'll see you tomorrow night where I'm going to talk about glutathione and probably some other health tips because, you know, I don't want to get too much uh, into the woods about science, but I'm just going to tell you, you want to boost your glutathione if you're over 30. And even if you're in your 20s, but if you're over 30 especially. Y'all have a good night.